Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Well, today is the day after Thanksgiving. I'm still on holiday. It's a rainy day with thunderstorms at Giga Texas, and there's a whole lot of information and updates that I would like to provide uh, the audience, and I thought I would do that today with this particular video. Specifically, we're going to look at the various construction areas around the entire Tesla property. As you can see by the map here, there are a significant number of them. There's also some new construction that is just about to begin or is now just underway. So this is going to be a talk and discuss tour around the site with all of these various areas to bring you up to date. I hope you like this particular format. And we'll also have a little bit of video to show what these areas look like. But otherwise, I thought I would try something new today, and I hope you enjoy it. We'll start off with area one. You can see the upper right-hand corner uh, image with the map and the arrow. This location is across the highway to the west from the main factory and runs north-south through Giga Texas's property. Now, this area has been under development for about two years or so. And the bottom right-hand corner photo, you can see the foundation and now staging location that was added about a year ago and the upper photo shows you a new staging location to the north of this on the north end of the entire property. Now as we get this video segment I'll show you the new location here in the foreground and what it looks like and it's being used to move some of the materials up from the larger more southerly uh, and older staging location and also this area has been somewhat developed by removing some of the ponds and hills from the old sand and gravel mining operation that has been going on here. Now as we approach this uh, foundation, one of the things that you can see is very recently they've been starting to clear this location out on the south and it's becoming a parking and or trailer uh, staging location, possibly a uh, add-on to the warehouse on wheels which is on the east side. So speaking of which, we have moved over to the east side, area two, as you can see by the inset map. This is where the warehouse on wheels, staging and contractors trailers are located. Now the contractor trailers have the offices for the contractors that are working on constructing Giga Texas. There's also some workshops, as you can see in the upper photo. This is where they do some modification to steel parts. And there's quite a bit of other materials staged over here as well. Now the warehouse on wheels concept is a innovative concept that uses trailers to store parts rather than inside of the main factory. This also speeds up the time for truckers bringing the trailers uh, because they just drop off full trailers, pick up empty trailers, and they can leave and they don't have to wait for the trailers to be emptied. So overall, this entire section continues to transform and it plays a major role in the construction of Giga Texas. We next move up to area three, as you can see by the inset map. This is the electrical switchyard and megapack location. And then the bottom left, you can see this image, which shows the engineering drawing of how this will appear when it's completed. And you can compare the two images to how it appears right now. Now, there's been a lot of work preparing the grade, doing assembly of the steel, doing concrete for the transformers, also installing the control office that you can see with that small little structure there, and water detention pond with water management. They've also been preparing the large steel poles and mounts to mount the uh, uh, high tension wires connect to the power lines that go nearby. And just to the south, you can see the temporary switch yard, which is providing the power for Giga Texas right now. And then in the video, you can see that triangular section. Eventually, that will be made rectangular, and that's where the mega packs will be installed. This is area four, which is, as you can see by the inset map, right to the east of the main factory. And this is the east car parking, new car staging, and uh, transportation lot for the Model Ys currently. And this is an uh, area that has been under development and reconfiguration several times over the last year, year and a half. Now with this inset video you can get an idea of how the new car staging and transportation lot appears where all the trucks uh, pick up the vehicles and then uh, transport them predominantly about 30 miles north to the Huddo railhead where they're loaded up onto rail trains. 
In addition to that, this smaller parking lot that we'll be approaching in the video is replacing the south end lot that uh, has all the concrete being removed and where the original new car staging and transportation lot was located. And this is going to replicate the facilities and the capabilities that they had at that point and prepare the vehicles to move over to the new car staging for transportation. Area 5 is across the highway, as you can see by the inset map on the north end. And this staging location has been here since the beginning of Giga Texas. In fact, it was used by the concrete crews to practice pouring the foundations that support all of the columns for the main factory. Now, this is Tesla Road. You can see it's being widened right now. There's some trucks queuing up to go pick up new Model Ys. Quite a bit of steel materials has been deposited here recently. And this brown material that you see at the bottom of the screen has actually been here for about a year and a half and I'm not sure what role that plays. But nevertheless, this is a very active site and has continues to be. They've been preparing this graded location with some more gravel and this no likely will be picking up more materials for staging in the near future to support more construction at Giga Texas. Area 6 is on the east side, as you can see by the inset image, and it's for the battery cathode and future development area, where we also see the beginnings of construction of a new facility. Now, this inset video gives you an idea of the construction that is going on right now. This is on the west side of the uh, battery cathode plant, where they're preparing for a new structure. And this gives you a good idea of how this uh, location is developing today. They're also developing this uh, plant on the west side of the battery cathode plant as well. Now coming in from the north, you can see that there's a lot of materials being stored to the north. They're doing a control room with this small steel stru structure on the east side. And then overall how this entire construction area appears today with the main building taking shape quickly. So as I mentioned, there's a new building being constructed on this west side of the battery cathode plant. And in the upper right hand corner, you can see the image of the building permit that has been filed with the city of Austin for a 107,000 square foot single story building with some sort of water management and storage capability. What it exactly is, I am not 100% sure. But by this image here, you can see the trenching on the left hand side, most likely for large underground pipes. Some work has been done to strengthen the soil with GeoPeer and they're doing soil strength tests. This outline is giving you just a sort of a visualization of what this building may look like when it is completed. Again, this will be something that I'll be monitoring, but it's yet another building being constructed here for Giga Texas. Next, we go to area number seven, which you can see is on the south and southeast sides of the main construction site. Now, this is still under development, but as you can see by the official rendering that just popped up on the left of the screen, Eventually, this area will be developed, particularly with a roadway that will connect the south end of the factory all the way over to near where the battery cathode plant is. Now, in this video, you can see where the old horizontal drilling operation was at the bottom of the screen, but you can also see where they look like they're at least starting some development of potentially a road that will go through the trees and between these two ponds. And as we continue up a little bit closer to these uh, couple of sections opened up in the trees, this is where they've been doing some soil test sampling. And they normally only do this when they're preparing for some sort of construction that will be underway in the near future. Now, one of these locations is right here in this clearing of the trees. And you can see some of the other uh, equipment in this location where they were also doing some soil test sampling as well. And we'll get a bit of a closer view into where they're doing the work. Now this area uh, has got some interesting significance because not only will it potentially have that roadway that will follow the Colorado River around towards the north, but also it's been temporarily developed as a staging location where, as you can see here, uh, eventually more trailers, materials, and workshops were relocated. Now there's another couple of interesting things about this particular site. And as you can see is from a recent article from Teslarati, about 500,000 square feet was uh, recently put into a permit to add to Giga Texas as the ecological paradise. Now this would be a section that's open to the public and would allow for uh, hiking through uh, some of the trees and also access potentially to the river and this, uh, this large pond that also is on the main site of Giga Texas. Now, if you want some more information, you can see this uh, article. The link is in the view here and also in the video description. 
Area number eight is a very interesting property, and you can see where it's located by the inset map. Now this is about 600 acres that was purchased and added to the Giga Texas property line at the end of 2021. And it's on the south and east sides of the Colorado River. The two images give you a view of how this appears. The upper one shows a horse farm that was part of that per purchase. And it has actually continued into a lease for at least another five years to operate on this land. Now I've also seen some information that somewhere here we may see a warehouse connected to the boring company constructed, but I don't have any additional information at this time. But it's something I'll continue to watch. And also there's some more boring company information uh, and updates that we'll talk about at the end of this uh, little video. Now this lake is completely on the property that Tesla purchased. It would be an excellent addition to Area 7 that we talked about for that ecological paradise. And if so, this may be open with, as Elon said, electric boats for the public. What we see here is a small peninsula, almost like an island with the Colorado River going around the west, north, and east sides. This clearing location would be ideal for potentially something open to the public. And also this is where a boring com company tunnel is currently slated to be dug going under the Colorado River and over towards where you see the factory and all of the uh, warehouses and uh, trailers over the Colorado River. Now, as I mentioned, there is a permit to build a boring tunnel. And let's talk about what that may appear like. So as you can see by this slide, the upper left-hand corner shows that there's a Colorado River connector tunnel with a boring company project number associated with it. And the bottom left-hand corner photo shows you approximately where this uh, tunnel would be dug. And it would be going from near where the battery cathode plant is underneath the Colorado River and over to this small near island that uh, you can see in the larger photo. Now the kind of the rectangular box in yellow and the dotted line gives you an idea of where this boring tunnel would be uh, completed. It's about a little more than 2,000 feet or maybe about 800 meters in length. And uh, as mentioned, it would go underneath the Colorado River. Not sure exactly what the purpose of this would be, but it may be a way for the public to uh, come on that road that we talked about in Area 7 up to this general location and then have access to this part of the property. I don't know, but it's a very interesting development, another one of which I am monitoring. Before we get into the last two major sections of the construction site, I want to go over a very important new permit that was just filed with the city of Austin for a north logistics lot. And as you can see by the upper left-hand corner photo, this is what that permit looked like. And you can kind of see an overall map of where this general area is located. So as you can see here, the permit calls for a developed location for this north logistics lot of 166 acres, but it doesn't specify exactly the shape or orientation. But I believe that this area number one with that blue and the question marks is generally about where it may be. And we'll be talking about some additional clues in a little bit about why I think this may be it. At the bottom of the screen, you can see additional information about that permit that was filed. Now they're using this Gilbert Road address uh, the Gilbert Road runs through the northern part of Giga Texas's property, but it's not part of the property. And just to the south is an old farmhouse that is uh, going to be demolished and used uh, for this land sometime uh, in the future for Giga Texas. Now, as a recap of the permit, this new project is called the Northbound Logistics Lot. It's listed as 166 acres or about 68 hectares. It's most likely located somewhere within this dotted yellow line. And again, I think area one is the most likely location. There are four areas currently under some sort of development or construction in this entire location. And we'll go through each one of them in just a second. But uh, uh, areas two and three are located on another pasture with the lone tree. And this is where the Model Y uh, racing around with the horse uh, uh, video was done for the cyber rodeo and then area four which is just north of the battery cathode plant so let me talk a little bit more about this gilbert road address in the upper right hand corner the map shows you the location that we're talking about the upper left hand corner photo gives you a great overview image of where we are talking about and in the distance you can see giga texas 
The lower left shows you what the farmhouse looks like from the ground level currently. And then the other photo on the bottom right gives you just a good idea with the map where we are talking and where this particular uh, farmhouse is located. So now we know that they use this farmhouse address in the permit and you can see this large rectangular field just to the south of the farmhouse. Let's fly around the area just to give you a, a good idea of what this looks like. Now you can see there's quite a bit of trees but there's also these flat locations. The one on the left is a future development area we'll talk about in a bit but the one on the right is where a lot of work is going on with core sampling. Now on the bottom left of the screen you can see Gilbert Road. This is that road I mentioned that goes through the property but is not part of the property that Tesla owns. Here you can see that farmhouse coming into view moving towards the center and its relation to that large rectangular field just to the south. Now this entire location I believe is where they will be building this North Logistics lot as it also comes right up to Gilbert Road providing an access point for trucks to bring vehicles and equipment into and out of this area. Now on the western side you can see it's much more rugged with ponds, also some remaining hills from the sand and gravel mine, so it would be much harder for them to develop, certainly at this point in time. Now I mentioned in this large field that there is core sampling going on, and you can see that with the uh, images on the left hand side of the screen. These are normally used when they're testing the strength of the soil, ahead of a major construction project. And this is located right in the middle of area one, as you can see in the map on the right hand side of the screen. The final location I want to talk about is area 10. This is the Northeast material and equipment staging and also a future development area. By the images you can see it's currently used as a rental equipment lot and a maintenance facility. And with this inset video it gives you a pretty good idea of how this area looks today. It's also being used to store some of the concrete slab sections from the south end that's being under demolition right now. But as we continue to fly around this area and then head back towards the battery cathode plant, you can also see this new development location as well. And this would be uh, part of potentially this entire uh, development for either the logistics lot that we talked about previously or even another construction project in the future that we do not know about. Let's look into these three areas with a little bit more detail. As you can see here, area two is on the north side of this uh, uh, eastern clearing location. The photo on the left shows you where they are storing material, steel materials for construction, and this has only grown since I've taken this particular image. So right now I think they're using it as a staging location for building materials. Looking at this development site number three, as mentioned before, it's currently being used as equipment rental and repair facility, but it's also being used for the temporary storage of concrete remnants from that south end lot that's being demolished. As you can see by the image number three, it's located north and east of the battery cathode plant and that clearing location just north of the plant. And finally, development area four, just north of the battery cathode plant. It's being cleared of the hills and ponds, at least on the east side. Temporary storage for building materials and also some workshops. And quite a bit of dirt is being excavated here. And it looks like it's being used to start filling in towards the west some more of the ponds and hills. This is another area that is on my watching list to see what develops. So there you have it, a grand tour of 10 major sites within Giga Texas that are under development or will be under development in the near future. Three major construction projects that uh, we know about and we covered in depth and also just a general orientation of where everything is located on this map that you can see. And also you can pause the screen if you like and take a look at the legend on the left hand side of the screen just so you can have a good idea of what all that we talked about. I know this is a little bit of a different video, but there's so much information that I wanna convey and I really can't do this level of detail on one of my normal videos. So I hope that you appreciate this approach. I hope you appreciate the information, the illustrations, the uh, images, and also the short video segments. As always, thank you very much for watching. I very much do appreciate it and I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you.